There's a June bug in my California crawl. Oh no. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a new series I'm starting on my channel. It's going to be called Tackle Table. And you guessed it, we're going to be talking about tackle and other kind of fishing stuff the good, the bad, the worst. Good experiences, bad experiences. We're going to talk about it. So, to kick off episode one, I am going to be talking about some baits I've been using this summer or over the summer. And tell you the good. And there's not really no bad about this that I've used, but we're going to talk about what we're going to be talking about Z-Man baits. Now, the guy I got my kayak from, he kind of turned me on to these Z-Man baits. These things are phenomenal. These things will catch a fish. If you're having a bad day, rig up a Ned rig, rig up a Texas rig for these things, slow roll them, bam, 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 back to back. That's how lucky I've had out of them. So, these Z-Man baits right here, why are they so special? Well, let me tell you all about this stuff. These Z-Man baits, there's little soft plastics. You can look at them right there. This one right here is the June Bug. What's so special about these things is, watch this. Hmm. Dude, that right there is money right there. That's saving money. You know, you you got most of your baits out here. You know, you try to do that and you're going to rip them. But these right here, man, these things last. So, you're probably thinking, well, I, I, I got these right here. What's How do I rig them up? Well, here's how I rig them. I've not really tried the Ned rig yet, which on the paper it says, Ned rig, which I haven't yet. So, what I do is I take these right here. These are ultra head finesse ball head jigs. They're set up as Texas rig. Yeah, they're a little pricey. But I take these right here. Take one out of the pack for you. So you take a little ball head jig right here, hooks, and then you take your June bug right here, Z man. Take just like this, popping in like a Texas rig. Boom. Bring it up, spin her around. Just like that. That's where you got something about like that. Flop it in a little bit. There you go. Now, if you want to make this thing weedless, take and pull the skin back a little bit and place the hook inside of it. Now, these right here, this is how I've used all summer. These are awesome. Absolutely stinking awesome love these they will catch a fish now to top it off with this right here uh, this ain't the line I use uh, this is actually the line I've got on my trout rod because I ain't got 10 pound on me or 8 pound I use 8 or 10 pound fluorocarbon this is a Berkeley Vanish this line right here it works really really good I like it now there's also other ways you can set this up if you want uh, oh yeah, they also come in, I got California Crawl. You can also Texas, like regular Texas rig these things up. Let me pop this tackle box open. Take a old regular old, it's just a regular old Texas rig hook right here. You can take, let's use California Crawl this time. There's a June bug in my California Crawl, oh no. I'm going to use the California crawl, like I said. Alright, like I said, California crawl. Nice, elastic. Feed it through just like you do a normal Texas rig. Just like I showed you on the last one. Just do that again. Make it weedless. I make all of them weedless. Alright, you end up with something like that right there. Alright, so what I do, before I put time a hook on, I take these right here. These are just little old slip sinkers. Grab one out of the bag for you. 
Yeah, yeah. He has to feel special. I'm not open to stuff yet. <laughs> oh. So take one of these right here. And don't put it on like that on the line with the, tri with the triangle up. Don't put it on triangle up like that. Put it on like that. Slip it on your line and tie your hook on. That way you get something kind of like that right there. It'll slide up and down. Take and pop it just like that. Another way you can rig it up is a Ned rig. But I do not have a Ned rig hook. Or usually a Ned rig, Ned, Ned rig jig. And when I outfit this on, this is a Daiwa reel. And I put it on my Ugly Stick GX2. That's all I use. Well, I ain't got nothing really bad to say about this stuff. This stuff works good. The only thing I don't like about it is every now and then when it gets wet, it likes to slide down. When it gets wet, this right here will slide down a little bit. You just when you reel it back in, you have to pop it back up. But I mean, other than that, that's really nothing to walk complain about. But let's talk about why these things are good. Yeah, they you can stretch them some guns out for a mile. But, these things last. These are meant for the average fisherman to go out there, have some fun, catch some smallmouth bass. I ain't really used them on a large mouth. We got smallies around here. But they're made to last. You ain't putting a new plastic on every time you get a hit. You can reuse that plastic. Pop it out there, catch another one. And little, you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Now you pop that thing out there, that stuff, it'll land down like that, get that thing just a wiggling just like that, pop it up, bam, pop it up, bam. You can do a little popping action, I get that thing swimming just like that, slow rolling, and bass come out, they go, and then you, whoosh, real them bad boys in, woo, man, I tell you what, get your blood pumping. If you don't love fishing, there's something wrong with you, I'm just kidding out there. Some people don't like fishing, but we all forgive them. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so we're going to end this tackle table session here. If you like this, let me know down in the comments. Smash that like button. Let me know. I, I'd like to actually continue these. Maybe, you know, once a week. Post one up. Talk about some tackle. Talk about some fishing. Uh, I'm also going to... I might... If I got, if I got enough pictures, because I had to... Have, Redo, we we wiped my computer and, and I had to go through a big old fallout with my computer. If I got enough pictures saved on my thumb drive, I might make a video and just show you some of the fish I caught this year. I caught quite a bit of fish this year, and uh, this year I just I really have just got into bass fishing. Uh, like I said, the guy I got my kayak off of, he's down at the now at the kayak store and he runs a fishing tackle store too. I'll go in there and talk to him, enjoy some fishing talk with him. He always, he, he knows what he's talking about. That's what I like about it. That, that's, that right there is what America's missing. Is people that knows what they're talking about, not assumes they know what they're talking about. I like that. But that, that's a whole other story right there we're not going to get into. But if you're watching this video out the game, you know who I'm talking about owns that tackle shop. I sure do appreciate you. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Like I said, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this stuff, because I love talking about this stuff. So, I'm going to sign off. Y'all keep fishing out there.